Hey guys, what's up? It's Tim Griffin here. Um, as promised, I am here with a, another game review. Um, this game, as promised, is... Uh, if you see my last video, you know that I'm going to re be reviewing this game. Um, this game was panned by critics as one of the worst games in one of the most popular franchises of all time. I'm talking, of course, about... Mortal Kombat Special Forces. This game came out right after Mortal Kombat 4, uh, three years after Mortal Kombat 4, it came out in 2000, released by Midway. Um, you can tell right here, I don't know if you can see it that well, but the gameplay is kind of overhead. Um, yeah, I got it in this big blockbuster case, which is pretty cool. So, um, <clears throat> This is the game that apparently uh, John Tobias, this is the last game that John Tobias and his team made uh, before he quit and created Studio Gigante. Uh, I'm going to show you the game. I personally think it's... I, I love this game, not because I'm just a Mortal Kombat fan, but I don't see what, what the big deal is with this game. So, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if you compare this to DC Universe, this would, I think would be better than DC Universe. So, sorry to all you hardcore superhero fans out there. I mean, I, I like superheroes too, but Mortal Kombat and... Superheroes don't go together. I'm sorry. Um, so, let's review this game. As you can tell, the characters are a bit blocky, but I guess for PS1 game, it's not that bad. But the problem with it is, Mortal Kombat 4 had better graphics than this. And there's Tremor, the legendary... <clears throat> Rumor he was supposed to be in Mortal Kombat Trilogy, which, by the way, I will review after this game review. <clears throat> That's my next video, is Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Um, and a lot of these other characters are just part of the story. So here we go, let's get this started. We have an urgent situation that demands your attention. What's the problem, Gemini? 
We have a breakout at the Special Forces Maximum Security Facility. A group of highly dangerous superhuman criminals has escaped the compound and are at large. The list of escaped prisoners is as follows. No Face, Tazia, Jarek, and Trimmer. They apparently are hiding out in an abandoned warehouse on the south side of town. There's something else you should know. The prisoners received help from an outside source. It has to be Kano. You guessed it. Gemini, tell operations ETA 60 seconds to the warehouse. Inform Lieutenant Sanchez not to infiltrate the warehouse until my arrival. Affirmative. Oh, oh wait, hold up, Jax. I have a transmission coming in from Lieutenant Sanchez. I'll patch it through. The rendered cutscenes in this game are actually pretty good. The music is pretty good. Kano, you're gonna pay for this. Alright, so here's the gameplay. It's a little bit dark. Um, I apologize for that. The project games were a little bit dark. And here's the gameplay. It's pretty much almost overhead, pretty much. Much like Spy Hunter. I don't know if I'll be able to beat the entire level, but I'm just giving you, like, snippets of what it looks like. And the game tends to get hard at, at times. That's me right there. That's Jax. Originally, the game was uh, made to have Sonya Blade in this game, too. But that was during the E3 demo. This game was shown at E3 in 1999, and that had Sonya in it. But when it came out, uh, they took her out, and all you do now is play Jax. I just got a power up here. Just open the door. Now power up is X. On X X uh, triangle. There it is. Got it. You can climb stuff too. It's basically like an action adventure game, much like Mortal Kombat Mythologies, except this one is full 3D. This one is 3D. But I didn't I didn't mention in Mortal Kombat Mythologies that the backgrounds and some of the some of the bosses um, were made all in real time 3D, and then and then the human characters were basically you know just like uh, all the Mortal Kombat games you know they had to digitize the actors in order to, uh, you know, make them come to life, basically, so. I'm not going to fight the construction workers just yet. So i got to get in here somewhere, because I'm going downstairs. I know you probably can't see that well, I'm so sorry. 
you can access weapons. I just picked up a machine gun and a clip. So now I'm going to take out my machine gun here. I bet you that this whole machine gun thing in Mortal Kombat Special Forces is what started uh, in Deadly Alliance when you can uh, use have Jax use his uh, gun in the game. Like I know uh, Mortal Kombat Deception, Deadly Alliance, and Armageddon. There's a special move where you can make uh, Jax use. There's a special uh, thing where you can make Jax use his machine gun. Took all three of them out. That is so awesome. But anyway, I'm gonna stop it right there. We're gonna stop it right there. I know it's gonna be a tad short, but oh well. So there you have it. Mortal Kombat Special Forces. Sometimes a franchise, uh, you know, some one of our sometimes one of our favorite franchises tries to outdo themselves, and a lot of times it ends up failing. You know, sometimes it ends up failing. Sometimes it's, it's hit or miss, pretty much. Uh, I can't really recommend this for everyone, uh, but if you like overhead fighting action adventure games, this is definitely one to play. Um, I know a lot of people say this is not the best uh, game, but if you, to me, this is a lot more better than Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, like I said before. Okay, because Mortal Kombat uh, DC Universe had no fatalities whatsoever. Come on, people. You know? But, overall, I think this is a good game. It's not great, it's not bad, it's good. Um, that ends this video. Um, I will be back with... Uh, and the final part of Mortal Kombat review, uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, and then I'll move on to, uh, that kind of weapon. And thank you for that, I'll see you guys later.